Welcome along to this webinar from the Computer Information Agency. My name is Robert Crane and today we'll be looking at SharePoint questions and answers. This is the first presentation um, in the question and answer series. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to contact me directly via my email address, director at ciaops.com. You can also get more information about my business at the website www.ciaops.com. So with that, let's get started. So the first thing I need to check is to make sure that everybody can hear me. Um, if there are any issues, um, basically we need to just go up into the feedback area in the top in the top right hand corner and let me know if there are issues. Um, but hopefully everybody who's online can hear me well enough, uh, would seem to be that's the case. So in that case, we'll kick off. So just a bit of housekeeping to start us along. Uh, firstly, if you want to provide any feedback online during the progress of this webinar, please feel free to do so via Twitter. To do that so I can see what your uh, response and feedback is, please use the hashtag CIA Ops. My Twitter handle is Director CIA, so again you can use that as a means to contact me directly. And information about obtaining a resource guide will be made available at the end of this presentation. So the agenda for today, um, we're here for hopefully around 60 minutes. We're going to look at command line backups in SharePoint. We'll look at some document um, libraries, document management best practices. We'll talk about some downsides to SharePoint uh, as well as some of the alternatives that are out there to the SharePoint product. We'll have a quick look at SharePoint 2010. Uh, hopefully if time permits we'll have a look at embedding a video into uh, a SharePoint site and then we'll run over a number of conclusions. So firstly let's turn our attention to a the command line backup option which is available in SharePoint. You have to run the command line backup from the SharePoint server, basically from the command line or the DOS prompt on the SharePoint server. So this means that you'll obviously need access to that server and you'll also need access as an administrator to achieve that. Basically the command line backup uses a utility called SDS ADM, uh, which is found in the binary directory of SharePoint. There are two important uh, commands or options that allow the backup and restore of information from the command line. The first one is the SDS ADM minus O backup and SDS ADM minus O restore. This is normally uh, the most common backup uh, and restore you command that you'll see. However, it does have a number of, I suppose, drawbacks. It can basically only back up a single site. If you have multiple sites or sites under uh, your top level site, then this STS, STS ADM minus a backup will not normally back up that information. To overcome that, it's probably recommended that you look at implementing the STS, should be STS, STS minus O export and import. So the advantage with the export and import is firstly that it allows you to back up at a top level of uh, your SharePoint site and anything underneath. It also allows you to perform a merge between SharePoint sites. So you can use the STSADM O export and import command as an option to import and migrate your data. So that means that you can bring it across without overriding an existing site. Now this is different from the minus O backup command because the minus O backup command basically will overwrite any site that is in its location 
when you do the restore. So again, the export and import function allows you to do a merge, while a backup and restore basically does a complete override. Now once you uh, become familiar with the STS-ADM command line utility and parameters, what you can do is you can script that into a batch file. Once you put this into a batch file, this means you can easily run it at any point in time. And generally what you do is you schedule the batch file to run via the window scheduler. So that provides you with the ability to run these command line backups at a certain point in time. So let's just go out and have a look at those options. So let me just switch across to our desktop here. So what we're looking at here uh, when we come up is basically an STR, sorry, a SharePoint version, uh, Share, sorry, a SharePoint version 3 company web running on an SPS server. So what I've done is I've gone out to the command line and as you can see, I've changed to the binaries directory where the STS command resides. Now that resides in a directory C colon backslash program files, common files, Microsoft shared, web server extensions, slash 12, slash bin. So if you type STS ADM on the command line by itself, what you'll find is, is that you'll be given the parameters for the STS ADM command. And you will have to excuse this machine because we are obviously running this in uh, a virtual machine technology and there will be a bit of a delay running some of the commands. But as you can now see, when I run STS ADM on the, com on the command line by itself, you'll get a full list of all the parameters that are available with this command. Okay, and you'll see in here that we've got STS ADM minus O backup, and these are the further parameters. You have, need to specify the URL, um, the server, the site that you want to back up, and a file name as a destination. So you will also see down here a little bit further, you have the restore command as well. Okay, so basically it's the reverse. So again, what we can do here is, um, if we want to perform a backup, we can go S, we can just run STS ADM minus O backup minus URL. Give it the site HTTP colon the SharePoint uh, the SharePoint site. In this case, it's going to company web. Specify the file name. Again, you can specify the file name to be any location. So I'm going to call it into this directory called that, and I use the final overwrite parameter to overwrite any existing backup that may exist. So again, just push that, enter that command, and a few seconds later, what you'll see is a uh, just a return to the command prompt.